everyone. Welcome to the Mama Elephant October release. These products that we're sharing today will be available on October 15th. I feel like this is a extension of a last month's big holiday release. We have a lot of new holiday goodies starting with So Much Fun. So Much Fun has lambs and also dogs in a snowman. I feel like you're getting two stamps in one. Of course, my favorite is the dogs playing with the little snowman. I love how it's a scene already, and I feel like it could carry, that one image could carry a card, and of course, I love dogs. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for Snow Much Fun. And next up, there's a new frame set. This is Flurry Frame. I love how this cuts out. I love snowflakes for the holidays, and I just love how the border looks. I'm gonna first start off by coloring the images. I used Copic markers today. I use the Gina K Amalgam Ink in Obsidian on the Nina 110 pound paper. Um, I will put the list of Copic markers I use down below. I love this, I love this scene so much. It's so cute. I was trying to avoid using kind of like my mint and pink combo that I always like. So for this, I wanted to use kind of primary color. So I'm going to color the clothes and um, little, um, accessories on the animals using um, green and blue. It was a little bit of a rough start for coloring you guys. I have not colored in a minute so I'm trying to get my bearings here. I'm trying to do just a little bit of shading like behind the head like around the ears and I'm trying to figure out where it all goes. Um, here's my snowman. I like to do an icy glow with BG10 and BG11 and I always try to be careful not to make the whole thing um, that aqua color, but I always fail. <laughs> I will put a list of the Copic marker colors I use down below in the description box. If I didn't mention it, this set was illustrated by Ada Zamora, and I loved all of the holiday designs that came out this year, and I love how you can mix and match them um, together with all the other ones because they're all kind of winter themed, and um, all of the sizing is kind of the same, so you can kind of mix it effortlessly, and I think um, it would be so cute to put all of them, <laughs> all of them together on one card. So I'm coloring this little doggy here um, using some blues. And I don't normally use this like regular type of blue color. Um, I can tell because <laughs> my markers, like they seem new and heavy. Um, but I'm just gonna do kind of a lighter jacket and then a little bit of a darker scarf. And then the little guy peeking out in the back, he's gonna have a green outfit. Next up, we're going to be coloring these sassy little lambs. I love them. They're having a snowball fight, and the one in the middle is kind of dodging the snowballs. And the stamp set does come with like little snowballs that you can use so you can make a snowball fight. Um, I'm going to do like a white coloration on these lambs and the dark ears. And then I'm gonna do just a red and green for the Christmas sweater. Um, just some red and then like just a um, faded type green for the background. Um, I also think these little guys look like llamas also, but you let me know if you think so <laughs> also because that's what I thought they were at first. Um, just because of the sweater and it kind of, I don't know, it feels like a llama to me, um, but it, it's a lamb. I always get nervous when I pull out a red marker and I totally didn't follow my rule of doing the other colors first and then doing the red last. Um, I always make sure if I am doing red that it is completely dry because I don't want it to bleed. So sometimes I'll take a heat gun to it um, before I move on with the next color. So let's take a look at Flurry Frame. Here is the frame that it cuts out. I adore that snowflake border. It also comes with these two little extra pieces that you can use to stamp your sentiment on. Um, there is a snowflake label shape and then also that mini little banner and I think those types of pieces come in handy also to match up with your other dies as well. 
So I'm making two shaker cards today. I've cut out two pieces of acetate. I believe I cut it out in two and three fourths by three and three fourths, just so it could fit inside the frame and have enough room to glue it. And then now I have some double-sided foam adhesive and then I'm going to adhere it on the perimeter of the frame to create my shaker well. Um, I did cut out two backers um, just to seal that shaker mechanism and it's the same size two and three fourths by three and three fourths and then now I'm going to fill my shaker wells up um, with just different baubles that I had in my craft room. I think I had this like mix, this sort of confetti mix um, with blue snowflakes. I love this light blue and it had like some flat back pearls and then just some silver pieces. Um, I had purchased a ton of just things for the holidays and I didn't end up using them because I felt like um, the stamp set was enough. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but here I just wanted to use some of the goodies that I got. And then I'm going to add some foam balls because I love adding foam balls um, for snow. And then this is my favorite kind of set from Michaels. Um, it just has little mini glitters in different metallic colors. And it comes in real handy if you want just like a smaller um, piece to add into your medium and large pieces. I did want to share this Crafter Square double-sided foam adhesive. It was at the Dollar Tree, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, and it has that thinner um, foam adhesive if you're looking for it. Filling the shaker wells is my favorite part, so that's why I put a lot. Um, so now we're going to put the backers that I created just to seal that back. It just makes it easier to adhere the whole mechanism to the card front when you just seal the back first um, for this type. And then look how shiny and sparkly these are. So I'm adhering the blue frame onto a white card front and then also the white will go into the blue card front. I actually prefer the white snowflake frame on the light blue background. I think it stands out more. So now I'm going to take those labels that um, come with the die set and I have stamped out the sentiments that come with the stamp set and there's some great sentiments on there and there's a lot of them to choose from. And so I'm just going to use double um, pop dots to um, pop up some of the images and the label is um, adhered straight on with glue um, because I wanted to have the images dimensional um, and then now I'm just adding some I believe these are the sparkling clear snowflakes from pretty pink posh I love these I use these every holiday I think they just add a touch of um, sparkle without being too crazy and then I'm just doing it all around just so that frame has a little bit of embellishment on top of it um, and I like that as the finishing touch and a little more bling doesn't ever hurt <laughs> okay that is it here is a look at the completed cards I hope you enjoyed the video Make sure to join me tomorrow for some more fun October release products. Again, the October release products release on October 15th. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and happy crafting. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.